Let the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a shepherd boy named Peter. Peter was a very naughty boy. He would constantly pull pranks on others and amuse himself. Hey, what are you doing? Why have you tied me up? Peter's father was worried about him. So he put Peter in charge of a flock of sheep so that he could learn to be responsible. But the boy remained as naughty as ever. I'm so bored. I wish I could have some fun. Aha! Wolf! Wolf! Save me! The village folks picked up their axes and sticks and ran to the pasture. Huh? Wolf! We need to go and help! And who will help me? Huh? But there's no one here! Peter couldn't stop laughing at the trick he had played on them. <laughs> now that was fun! The villagers laughed from there angrily. After a few days, Peter wanted to pull the same prank on the villagers. Help! Help! There's a wolf here! <gasps> the village folks heard the cry and ran to help again. Huh? Hmm? Peter made fun of the villagers and laughed aloud. <laughs> I fooled all of you once again. Oh, he is such a prankster. That boy finds all of this funny. Can't stop fooling around. A few days later, as Peter was resting under a tree and the sheep were grazing nearby, a startling noise was heard. Soon, a big wolf appeared and Peter was frightened. Help! Help! Someone please help! The wolf will harm all my sheep! Please, help me! The villagers heard the cry, but thought Peter was trying to fool them again. And so they didn't come. It's that boy again. We aren't going to fall for his trick. The wolf started chasing all the sheep, and one by one, ate all of them. <laughs> Poor Peter wept all day as he had lost all the sheep. <laughs> Liars are not believed, even when they speak the truth. The Fisherman and the Golden Fish once upon a time, there lived a fisherman and his wife in a small and humble hut. The fisherman was very poor and made his living by fishing every day. The fisherman loved his wife dearly and did everything to please his wife, but his wife's complaints would never cease. Darling, how long are we going to live in this pigsty? I'm so fed up with this place. Darling, don't be so upset. Please tell me, what will cheer you up? Is it so? Then I will be the most happiest woman if you take me out of this tiny hut. I absolutely detest this place. Do something and get me out. Hmm. One fine day, the fisherman had gone fishing as usual. However, the fisherman was unable to catch even a single fish. Hmm. I'll have to go home empty-handed. Suddenly, his fishing rod got hmm? pulled real deep. The fisherman yanked his fishing rod hard. The fisherman was hoping for a big fish. But hey, he caught just one fish. The fish was beautiful, huh? and its golden color glittered. Wow, this fish dazzles so brightly. It's so beautiful. Hey, dear friend. Are you wondering how I could be so heavy? What? What? 
Did you just speak? Yes, I'm not an ordinary fish, my dear friend. I have magical powers which make me tiny yet heavy and bright. And hey, I know everything about you. The fisherman was at a loss of words. A spell's been cast upon me. I'm not really a fish. I am a queen in real life. Friend, please put me back into the sea. Please let me go. God bless you, golden fish. I will not harm you. You're a kind man. Thank you. The fish jumped into the clear blue sea and was out of sight. Fisherman rushed home to narrate the strange incident to his wife. What's this? You couldn't catch any fishes today? Then what would be our dinner, mister? No, I caught a golden fish today. A bright and dazzling fish for that. Crazy as it sounds, but the fish spoke like a human. What? A golden fish that could speak? Yes, and the fish told me that it was a queen in reality. Are you kidding me? And you just let it go? What? Don't you know how poor we are? Look around, we don't even have a proper kitchen. You're so stupid that you didn't make a wish. At least you could have asked for a proper house. Honey, we must be content with whatever we have. I don't want to hear anything. Just go and ask for a house to the fish. The fisherman headed to the sea half-heartedly. It was nearly dark and gloomy when the fisherman got to the shore. All the seawater had turned green. The fisherman called out to the fish. Oh, golden fish, listen to me. My wife has sent me to the sea to beg a gift from thee. Huh? Huh? My wife is unhappy with the place we are living now. She wants a comfortable cottage. Could you? Go home, my friend. Your wife is in the cottage as we speak. The fisherman huh? could not believe that the wish was fulfilled. He find his wife in a beautiful and comfortable cottage. Darling, are you happy now? We can live here forever. Wow, we can live here forever? One fine morning, the wife woke her husband and said, Good morning, darling. Now listen to me carefully. The cottage is tiny. The fish should have given us a larger house. She could have given us a mansion. Yes, that's what I want. Go and tell the fish that we want a mansion and I will be its queen. A queen? But aren't you happy in this nice little cottage? Listen, just do as I say and do not return without fulfilling my wish. When the fisherman reached the sea, he found that the place had become stormy and strange. In fact, the color of the water had turned red in color. The fisherman was scared, but he called out. Oh, golden fish, listen to me. My wife has sent me to the sea to beg another gift from thee. My wife is still unhappy. What does she want? She wants to live in a castle and wishes to be the queen. Go home then. She's sitting on the royal throne already. The fisherman turned around and started heading home. And lo and behold, the fisherman returned home to find a magnificent castle. The rooms were filled with royal furniture and white marble sparkled on the floor. Maids were hustling all about. The fisherman's beloved wife was sitting on the royal throne dressed in the most beautiful and rich gown. She was wearing a dazzling crown on her head. Greetings, my lady. You are the queen now. Yes, I am the queen now. Are you happy now? Well, we'll see. No, I don't want anyone to rule over me. I want to be the queen of all lands and seas. What are you even saying? How can you be the queen of all lands and seas? The fish cannot fulfill your silly wish. Husband, say no more. Just go and tell the fish about my royal wish. The fisherman had no choice and headed out to the sea again. The weather was getting bad outside. The sea was a different color, not calm or green or blue. The fisherman was confused, but he cried out. Golden fish, listen to me. My wife has sent me to the sea. Do not be angry, golden fish. 
What is it that she wants now? She wishes to be the queen of all lands and seas. For she is already the queen of all lands and seas. Fisherman could see a beautiful palace. The palace doors were made of splendid gold. Inside the massive hall, his wife was sitting on a lofty throne. Oh, what a stunning scepter she held in her hand. On each side of her stood servants. Darling, you are the queen of all lands and seas. I am the queen of all land and sea. Didn't I tell you the fish would fulfill my royal wish? Yes, you did. But are you happy now? Well, several weeks went by and the two lived a life better than most kings and queens. But the fisherman's wife was just not satisfied. She would spend sleepless nights planning her next move. Exhausted by the endless thoughts, she finally went to sleep. What? It is day already? The sun should know that I haven't slept for weeks altogether. How dare the sun ruin my sleep? The fisherman's <laughs> wife woke her husband in anger and said, Get up now! I want to control the sun and the moon and everything that the universe claims. Huh? I want to have them both tamed. Oh, honey! Honey, that is impossible! I don't think that could be brought about! Nothing bad will happen. It's all for our good. I know the fish can do it. Alas, my lady, can't you be more reasonable? Now just go and make me the most powerful person. Go at once, else I won't speak with you. The fisherman wondered why his wife couldn't be happy being the queen of all the lands and seas. Why was she putting him in such misery? The man went shivering in fear as it had become stormy and dark. The sky was black with stormy clouds and great black waves were rising in the sea. Oh no! What is happening here? Oh, golden fish, listen to me. My wife has sent me to the sea to beg another strange gift from thee. Please, please. forgive me, O oh queen of the seas. What is it I can do for her? My wife now wants to command the sun and the moon. Hmm, so be it. Your wife has received the gift. I wonder what is my wife up to now? The fisherman reached his palace, but couldn't find a trace of anyone huh? there. He panicked and looked around. The fisherman searched for his wife in every nook and cranny of the big palace, but he couldn't find his wife anywhere. Where is my dear wife? The fisherman then rushed towards the sea. The sea was calm and blue now. The fisherman yelled as loudly as he could. Oh, golden fish, can you hear me? Could you please tell me where my wife is? 